Hello gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another video. And guys, before we get into today's video, I do want to give a special shout out and a special thank you to Xseed Games for sponsoring today's video and hooking me up with a review key for the game Trinity Trigger. And the gameplay you guys are watching of today for Trinity Trigger is native PlayStation 5 gameplay. Trinity Trigger is currently available on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch. I'll leave a link where you guys can check out the game down in the description below. Also, if you have a Japanese Nintendo Switch account, there's actually a free demo in the Japanese eShop that you can try. Why this demo is not in North America or any other regions, I have no idea, and I think that's really silly because this is a great game, and giving people an option to try it first before they spend money might be in Xseed's best interest. So if anyone from Xseed watches this video, I would definitely, uh, yeah, get on that. <laughs> so now, when you look at Trinity Trigger, let me ask you something. Do you, does it give you any vibes? Does the combat of Trinity Trigger look familiar familiar to you? How the game looks, how it plays, you know, just, you know, this, this certain viewpoint. And I know, you know, a lot of people are going to see the top-down view, see me open a couple of chests or look at some items, stuff like that. You're going to think Zelda. No, 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 no. Not Zelda. We're not... We're not going with, with that vibe. Another vibe. I'll give you a clue. Square Enix. Still not coming to, the, to your head yet? How about the Mana series? Now, granted, it's no secret that Square Enix has been doing a fantastic, and I mean fantastic job, of remastering the Mana games and bringing them to last gen and current gen hardware. Both of the Mana remakes so far have been mwah, magnifique, perfecto. Um, I wasn't quite involved with Square Enix yet when the Mana games came out, so unfortunately I didn't um, bring those to the, to the channel, but maybe I would. Maybe I should. If you guys want to see some in, some stuff on the Mana games, definitely let me know. But anyway, Trinity Trigger, like I said, is developed by Xseed Games. However, the developers involved with Trinity Trigger are all ex-Mana um, X Mana game developers, people that have taken that have taken roles in you know previous Secret of Mana games and stuff like that, and also even the composer from the Mana series actually also did the soundtrack for this game, which I found very very cool. If you don't know what the what the Mana series is, it's a series of Jap of Japanese RPGs um, by Square Enix that actually came out years and years ago. I'm talking decades on like PlayStation and some of the Nintendo platforms, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I know I know they were on PlayStation, and I think some of the Nintendo Nintendo systems. If I'm wrong about that, feel free to correct me in the comments. But this is like a spiritual successor to the Mana games. And the cool part about this game is, you know, as of like as of you know, most games are spiritual successors. They usually, you know, they have a different story, they have a different title, and stuff like that. But they're usually kind of copy and paste of, you know, the game that they're spiritual successing. This game has, you know, its own interesting mechanics, an all new story behind it, and, you know, just all kinds of things that differentiate it. But you can also feel the spirit of the Mana games inside it when you play it. Like, you know, the music just sounds reminiscent of, um, of Mana games. The combat, you know, feels really familiar but fresh at the same time. This game has a whole different art style, but it also uses that same... That same view and, you know, that, that classic movement of simple mechanics of, you know, like the treasure chests being hidden around towns and stuff like that. Little items to pick up, you know, the different, um, having multiple people in your party to play. It even has the local multiplayer feature. That's right. If you're playing on Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, you can play local multiplayer with up to two other friends. Now, unfortunately, there's no online multiplayer, which, you know, I think of... Kind of would have been a cool feature, you know, giving people the option to play the game together online and stuff like that. But I do also respect, you know, how it's reminiscent of the old school way that the Mana games used to do things. And then not to mention, you know, like I said, how it takes um, a lot of uh, inspiration from the Mana games and stuff like that. The game is even fully voice acted. Now, you know, there are some times where you'll run around and talk to different NPCs in the world and stuff like that. It'll just be, you know, strictly text, but... Most of, you know, the cutscenes, a lot of the talking, and even, you know, a lot of the stuff like in dungeons and different areas, you know, that are like big scenes of play before like events and stuff like that. A lot of it is fully voice acted. And I gotta say, the voice acting in here is great. Now, if you want that authentic experience, make sure you change the voice acting to Japanese, which you can do in the menus. But the English voice actors also did a pretty good job in this game 
as well. And guys, the combat system in here is really, really cool. So it's called Trinity Trigger because, you know, you get these little pet-like guys with you called triggers. They enhance your weapons and give it special and give it special effects. And they'll give you, you know, all kinds of different moves, buffs you can put on the characters and, and stuff like that. And stuff like that. And, you know, I just thought it was, you know, a really cool addition to make the combat really interesting. The stamina-based system is, you know, s still there. The way you um you damage your enemies. When your stamina runs out, you're doing less damage and, and stuff like that. Rolling, all that stuff. All those classic mechanics you know and love from the mana games are still there. But, they, you know, they've just implemented in their own cool way. And, you know, it's just, it's really cool. It's really nostalgic, and, you know, I've been having a blast playing this so far. Now, I haven't made it to the end of the game, so I'm not sure if, you know, there's any type of new game plus or end game stuff for players to do or anything like that. Unfortunately, I have no idea. This is just my first impressions. But overall, guys, I've been having a ball. The soundtrack is, you know, if you love the, the soundtrack from the Mana Games, you're going to be in love with this. I love the games, you know, like pixelated kind of, um like, cartoonish... Uh, you, you know, like hand-drawn art art style. I really do appreciate that. And, you know, I just, I really don't have many, you know, many complaints at all when it comes to this game. They have a fast travel system. Save points are often and, and frequent. The dialogue's, you know, nice and, nice and smooth. Maybe, I've you know, I guess they, they should add some controller customization in there, you know, for you to be able to switch the buttons up how you want it. Especially a lot of these new newer you know like games and stuff like that that are releasing on on current gen hardware and stuff i think you know controller and button customization should be a default thing by now that is one thing this game is missing and i hope the developer does consider consider adding that and also giving a demo to <laughs> north america and you know both platforms but other than that guys i really don't have any complaints and this is honestly a solid title if you like i said you want to check out trinity trigger i'll leave a link to it down in the description below where you can check it out on PlayStation or Nintendo Switch. Y'all enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.